Right then, so this next little bit um, is, is talking about solving it. And these are quite important points that will help you out a lot. So it talks about, so if it's in equilibrium, then the resultant force is zero. But then also now, my turning will be zero as well. My, my moments will be zero. So it says a rigid body equilibrium, the result of the direction is zero. So the sum of the moments is zero as well. So what I might say is up is equal to down. So that's kind of like my forces on it. But then also clockwise is equal to anti-clockwise. So it says by taking moments at a particular point, you ignore those forces at that point because your perpendicular distance is zero. So that makes sense. Now this is if it's on the point of turning about a support, the reaction at the other support will be zero. So it's just about to lift off the other support. And that'll make more sense when we kind of talk about it. Let me do an example for it. So then we model it as a rigid body, which is uniform. So it has the same thickness. So that means that the center of mass all the way from that beam acts down at the center halfway. There. All right. So let's have a look at an example here. So the diagram shows a uniform rod, AB, a length 3 meters and a weight of 20 meters. So this piece of information here tells me that at 1.5 meters, I've got 20 newtons acting down. So let's have a look. So 1.5 meters is approximately there, say. So I've got 20 newtons acting down. Now, at A, I have a normal reaction pushing back up at A. And at C, I have a normal reaction pushing back up at C. So it says, calculate the magnitude of the reaction of each support. So I'm going to choose a place to do it from. So I'm going to start at A. So I'm going to take moments. A. That means I can ignore the A when I work this out. So if I'm taking moments, I'm going to say that clockwise moments are equal to anti-clockwise moments. So if you look at it and pinned at A, the 20 newtons is pushing it down, it's pushing it round clockwise. The RC is pushing back anti-clockwise. So let's get these, they, these are all at perpendicular, so that's good. Right, so let's have a look at it then. So I want, for clockwise, the distance we said is 1.5 metres, and the force is 20. So I've got 20 times by 1.5. That's equal to the distance of 2 metres times by the normal reaction. So normal reaction times 2. So I've got 30 is equal to 2 lots of the normal reaction at C. So 15 newtons is the normal reaction at C. There. So I've done my moments and I've worked out what my um, what my force is exerting at C just by doing my moments. So the next bit is because it's in equilibrium that my up forces are equal to my down forces. So my up forces are the normal reaction at A plus the normal reaction at C. Well, whatever's pulling it down is just the 20 newtons. So that's up equals down. So RA plus 15 is 20. So the normal reaction at A is actually 5 newtons. So I ignore the RA when I'm setting up the, the um, moments, but I use it with the equilibrium. Okay. There's another example, but it's quite, that's nice, isn't it? No, it's not hard. Right, moving on then. Next, next vid, next example.